Welcome back, survivors, to another episode of Seven Days to Die. On top of Cooney Hills, we got ourselves a nice little wandering horde, which I am wasting all my explosive bolts on, but hey, that's all part of the fun, right? Let's send some body flying. So, last episode, we did ourselves some treasure hunting and preparation to get some more ammo and stuffs. Oh, they're making a lot of noise. In preparation to get some ammo and stuffs for Midnight Designer when he comes on for Saturday's episode, we're going to uh, pump up the Horde Knights to 100 per wave and have a blast. And holy crap, I love having spawning on high. Look, at, look how many zombies that, that spawned in. Madness. We also, hopefully, should possibly, maybe, get... Whoops, that was way off. I'm just wasting these things now. You know what? Let's start smacking some heads. We'll drink some beer here and smack some heads. Uh, but in this episode here today, we are going to be going and picking up all them airdrops you see on my minimap. Uh, there are tons. There's tons behind us. We're going to go for a drive around. That way it'll give us uh, some more weapons, maybe some more ammo, uh, some, some recipes or uh, schematics. My bad. Some schematics for Midnight Designer because he's going to be fresh. Level one, level nothing. So he's, he's going to have a little bit of a hard time doing some uh, some damage here to the zombies. Oh, what are you doing over there, big guy? Whoops. Almost missed him. Oh my goodness. Look at all of this. Look at all this. Man, I just cleaned up my inventory here too just to go and do those airdrops. But now I have a whole bunch of stuff I have to clean up. Damn it. All right. Well, let's check these guys and see what we got going on here. Anything good? Nope. Nope. Whoa. No, oh, oh, sham sandwich, I will take that. Sham sandwiches, definitely need a ton of those. I did spend a lot of my sham sandwiches making some more steel polish. Just to find out when I went to the trader that I got a whole bunch of them. Oh, yeah, I can't goods, I'll leave that there. I'll leave that there for the bums, they can come, they can come grab it. Or, I'm sorry, not the bums, that's very, uh, not very PC of me. I meant to say, unfortunate people without a home. There we go. The unfortunate people without a home can come and grab up that can good. All right, let's head this way. Let's head this way. Speaking of unfortunate people, I do think what I'm going to do, guys, because uh, a lot of you have been asking for my mod file for all my extra blocks and stuff, and I do want to share that, but I didn't really want to share it right off the bat because, you know, I, want, I still wanted my playthrough to be a little bit special, have its own thing, right? But I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I will open it up for you guys to download it, but I will ask that you guys make a small donation and that donation will be going to the the soup kitchen here. Now I don't, it's a little bit of a struggle for me because I'm not in the spot where I'm really ready to, oh my goodness, where I'm really ready to this, uh, uh, what do you call it, tell you guys exactly where I live. Because it's a very small city and it's, it's not easy for me to hide here. And while you know how people be on the internet, that could get me into a lot of trouble. But I do, uh, I do want to make a charitable donation to my uh, local soup kitchen. And uh, in order to do that, I may have to reveal where I live because I'm sure you guys would want to know, you know, exactly what I put it towards. But we'll figure that out as it comes down. I'm just kind of tossing that idea at you. All right. So we got that cleared up. I got that idea out of my mind, and we will move on and go ahead and ride my bike off this edge. So I done perfected how to do this. Uh, let's go for a blast here. Oh, oh, you know what? Let's hit the spider, and then go off the edge. Damn right, we'll get a we'll get a twofer in that one. All right, let's head around. Let's line up. Let's aim for that little bastard. Hate these stupid things. All right, so as soon as I get off this edge. Whoa! Bike got, <laughs> the bike got stuck. That wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, we're going to have to try this again. <laughs> that was amazing. Derp. I'm not even going to cut that. You know what? You guys deserve to see that. Oh, there we go. Whee! And there goes the bike. And there goes me. Last time I went down like that, I found out that if you land on your bike, it hurts like a bitch. So, yeah. That's actually really fun. I did that like four or five times before starting this episode. I was having a blast with it. I don't know. That's maybe how I'll start off the rest of my episodes. Now, airdrops. All the airdrops seem to be mostly in behind Cooney Hills here. So, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. I forgot to check my inventory on my mini bike. Okay, our storage is good. We're good to go in the storage, and I still have a little bit of gas, but we're not going too far away from home, so if I do run out, 
I can always run back and grab some more. Not a big deal. All right. So we're going to drive in, in behind this place. I actually just recently broke into this house. I've, I never went in search of this house ever. And it's so incredibly close to Cooney Hills. Uh, there's this one over here as well, too. There's two of them in the same area. I, I haven't even touched this one. This one is untouched. Uh, as you can see, it still has its doors. It still has no way in. Uh, there's really no reason for me to go and uh, discover it anyways. But I do see an airdrop on my, on my radar there. So we're going to go ahead and start out with this sucker. Now, fortunately, I did this on my PS4 playthrough as well. Uh, but I didn't have the little mini bike finder, so I was paranoid about bringing my mini bike. So we did a lot of running, and I didn't have nearly as much storage. Ah, oh, get off of me. Where are you? Yeah, hello to you too. You better have some sand. I will take your shotgun shell, though. I will take that. All right, let's see what our first crate has for us. We have a rocket launcher stock. Not bad, actually. That's a pretty good level. Ooh, auger schematic, sledgehammer schematic, and AK-47 schematic. Wow, okay, so there's there's three schematics right off the bat that are very valuable uh, because he's going to have to repair his weapons and stuff, and unless he knows how to do it, he won't be able to. And uh, last thing we need is a full-on panic during a 100-wave horde night. That's uh, <laughs> That would be way too intense. Okay, look at, my <laughs> look at my radar there. There are tons of these airdrops on it. So we're going to slowly work our way towards these. Man, I love that they added damage to zombies when you hit them with the, the mini bike. That never used to be a thing. You used to just kind of bounce off of them or, like, stick to them. That was such a pain in the ass. All right. Wow, how close are these actually to Coon Hills? These must be literally be right behind. Oh, my goodness. Uh, is the weather changing? Oh, no. There, there's a there's one. Okay, what, is this, what does this baby have for us? We have exploding crossbow. Nice. I'll give him that. Iron boots. Probably don't need that, but that's okay. 11 painkillers. Very handy. Really not much in the way of uh, weapons or ammo yet, but I'm sure we'll come across some. We have tons of these airdrops. Holy crap. I thought it was going right off an edge. Okay. Okay. These things are hard to find, especially when they rotate around your mini-map like that. They must all be, like, on top of here. Are we all on top of here? Whoa, 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 slow down, <laughs> slow, oh shit! Oh, oh, the crap, my leg is sprained, damn it, man. I should have really thought that one out. I panicked and it jumped off my mini bike. My, <laughs> my bad, my bad. All right, let's get back around here and try to find some of those dang uh, airdrops. Where are these things? Where are you, airdrops? Are they must be like right on top of this hill. They have to be. Either that or they're invisible and I give up. All right, let's go see here. I'm not going to take my mini bike because apparently I can't drive worth a shit. Uh, definitely got some zombies coming our way though. We'll take out that zombie. That zombie's over there fighting a garbage bag. I'll leave him be. Knock her down. All right, where are you, airdrops? Okay, we must be this way. You know what? I'm being an idiot. Let's just look on the menu. Oh, it's right behind us. Okay, never mind. Oh, I was headed in the right direction when I fell down that hill. Ah, uh, go away. There we go. Uh, now I'm infected. I have a sprained ankle. And uh, my nose is up in the air. I'm being snotty. All right, let's get back on my mini bike here and get off this hill. I, I was doing this wrong. I should have looked at my actual map first instead of just going off the... Off the uh, the compass. Wow, I keep calling it my radar, but technically it's a compass. Remember that, guys. Compass, not radar. Okay, so it should be and down this way uh, just a bit. Oh, I'm stuck on... Stu <laughs> stuck on that. Okay. Looks like I've done some treasure hunting in this area here as well, too. There's a bunch of random holes. Alright, where are you? Man, I really wish we could open the damn freaking mini-map on, on the bike. This is such a pain in the ass. Okay. It's got to be this way. There it is. Holy crap, man. Okay. Let's open up this baby and see what she's got for us. We got some more antibiotics. Ooh, a first aid kit. Some more first aid kits. I can actually use those. Sniper rifle parts. And gas can. Holy crap. MD is going to have a whole ton of reading to do when he gets back. I hope he does enjoy reading. He does seem like the kind of guy that would pick up a good book and, and put it down. Uh, so we got a whole bunch of airdrops this way. We got a couple airdrops this way uh, in the undiscovered area, and then some more airdrops over here. So let's uh, let's go get these two first. I'm actually gonna slap a quick waypoint down there. 
that way I'm following the waypoint. It's, it's, I don't know. These, these airdrop things, I just, them and me just don't seem to get along as far as navigating goes. I, I'd rather use a quick waypoint. All right. Oh, nope. I'm going to get stuck on this hill, of course. Here we go. And up we go. Okay. So we must, uh, we must be pretty close to it. This is a pretty big hills. I actually haven't come this way yet either. This is, uh, this is pretty good. Whoops. Damn it. Getting stuck on rocks and shit. You guys are probably slapping your heads right now. All right. All right. You be oh. Oh. Are we here? Let's get off my mini bike so we can open my map. We are here. Okay, cool. I'm going to leave my mini bike there and we'll just, we'll just go for a walk here. Nice. Nice. It's a nice little split. I love it when these things are all in the same area. Level 587 SMG parts. Nice. McDiver book. Perfect. 512 AK-47 parts. Very nice. I'm actually going to have to take some time as well too and go ahead and combine uh, combine all of uh, all of my stuff. You know what? We're actually going to take that shotgun short, short stock too. I don't know why. I just feel like taking it. Usually I ignore them, but whatever. Ooh, another airdrop right here. Right here. So we got these two airdrops. This one gave us some painkillers, antibiotics, first aid kit, uh, another schematic, another schematic. These do not pile up. These do not stack. Why do these not stack? They're pieces of paper. Come on, fun pimps. Okay, and shotgun slug schematic. Perfect. Okay, awesome. So what I'm going to do here, guys, we're going to take a quick break, and then I'm going to, wow, they're just littered all over the place. They just keep opening up as I drive. We're going to take a quick break, and then I'm going to head back down. Uh, they're even in the, in the damn city. I'm going to head back down towards my base, and we will go and find some more airdrops. I'll see you guys there. Oh, sweet. Another Taylor. Nah, as Taylor puts out, you guys know that. I'll see you guys in the <laughs> right after this quick break. I almost choked. And we're back. Welcome back, guys. So I'm going to just go ahead and toss these stupid uh, schematics into the mini bike storage. Oh man, I wish you could stack these too. It'd be nice to have a few more slots in the mini bike. Um, but we're still not full yet, so we still got a lot of work to do here. Now I've come across the first airdrop, and of course it gives us some more of these schematics, the ones we already have. Damn it! Uh, so let's slide those right back into the inventory. If it becomes um, to the point that these are getting full, I'll just uh, scrap the schematics, and we will just keep one of each because I don't need them. I already have them all. Uh, but it would be nice to get those over to Midnight Designer. Alright, let's get down here and do some more opening. Man, it's like Christmas. I, I honestly, I love doing this part because I leave them sitting for so long. And then there's just, there's many, many, many of them. Many, many, many. Okay, you know what? Where is this one? Okay, so we're closer to this one. So we will head down this way. And, oh, oh there it is. There it is. Uh, you know, it would be nice if these things had like a little light or something on them. I think that would be cool. Uh, at first, when they added the ability to see these on your minimap, I was actually completely against it. I was like, that's unrealistic. But then, then I thought about it and I was like, you know what? An airdrop is just unrealistic. Uh, apparently zombies took over and everything. If they're doing airdrops, why don't they just come in and save us all? You know what I mean? Like, I, I just don't get that. Why leave us here to fend for ourselves? Uh, okay, so we got some sniper rifle parts. That's very nice. And we will actually take this beaker because they sell really well to the traders. So I've been stacking those up like like cash. Stacking beakers because beakers is cash. Uh, next one here. We are going to go... Ooh, look at that. There's two right beside each other in the city. So we're going to go and check this out. Uh, now, I've actually ran past a few of these multiple times and I didn't pick them up. Uh, just because I wanted to save them for this episode. Although it was really, really tempting to do so, I'm actually quite proud of myself that I, I didn't fall for the temptation. There's another one right there. All right, let's go check this out. See what we got going on. Ooh, SMG receiver, very nice. That's a, that's a schematic we don't have. I will take that. Man, we're going to have so many kits too. I won't have to do a kit run for a long, long time. Okay, where's, where's this other one? Uh, we got to head back that way you not know oh there it is it's right on the roadway right out in the middle where i can see it super easy and who destroyed a light pole you guys are assholes must have been the zombies either this oh that's a nice rocket launcher stock i will take that some more rounds and an smg very nice all right 
Sweet. Let's drop off some more of those uh, schematics into my inventory here. And you lay down. Oh, I'm going to use that. Well, that was just downright handy. Thank you very much, nurse. Okay. Where's my mini bike? Here we go. So let's open this sucker up and drop her in. Uh, schematic, schematic, uh, schematic, and schematic, schematic. <laughs> there we go. So many of these. Okay, so we're getting full of these. What I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to just go ahead and read this because I don't think, oh yes, my gunsmithing is actually really low. So um, I may as well, may as well read these. I don't even know. Yes, I do have this. I do have the slug. I do have the slug, but I'm going to go ahead and read it because it's a duplicate. Sweet. Yes, I actually could raise my gun skills. I should be reading all of these. Okay, do we have any more duplicates in here? This is like that one game you always played as a kid where it was, um, you know, match uh, the two the same. You would flip a card over and then you would flip another card over. Then if they were the same, you would keep the cards. Um, I actually don't know what you call that. It has a proper name. I just really don't know what it is. Okay. So we got these airdrops down here. Let's go up here and grab uh, these two up here. And then we will have to head back to base and do a drop off because we're almost full already. Holy crap. So we're going to drive up this way. Hopefully it's not too far. Actually, how far was that from, from the city? Not very far. It's literally on top of that hill up there where it separates from the desert to... Hey, did a lot of this yucca grow back? I swear I, like, out farm this yucca in here. Um, I know it doesn't, but I swear I did. There we go. Nah, so this seems to be actually quite a bit of airdrops up here this way, too. The more I drive up here, the more they unlock. Okay. Where are we? We are... Oh, wow, there's three, four, five up here. Okay, we're going to go for a little bit of a journey here and grab all of these. I do like how airdrops end up staying all in similar areas, like... When I'm working on Cooney Hills, I'm always in the same general area. So all the airdrops end up like literally being all right beside each other. So the, it's easy to come and grab these and, and mass supplies when it happens. Another beaker, painkillers, all right. AK-47, I'm going to go ahead and read that. <gasps> 546 level sniper rifle and six rounds. That's a nice find. I do appreciate that. I don't think actually I have. Uh, a full out 546 sniper rifle. I think I've worn it down quite a bit. So that was pretty exciting. I had to take a screenshot of that because that actually might be the ti or the title, the thumbnail for today's video. All right, let's go up and get this one here. Man, we've actually been quite fortunate this time around. Not much ammo, but a lot of uh, a lot of supplies. So I'm gonna read that. Another good SMG stock. Man, those painkillers as well too, guys, are really really good to sell to traders. Uh, you can stack them up in 50s, and they sell really well. Actually, let's uh, let's take a quick look at it. It'll tell us how much these sell for. So a stack of 34 painkillers will sell for 1690. That's that's pretty damn good. I mean, considering that you get so many of them that they just end up stacking. Ooh, look at that, man. We almost got enough to put together a really good rocket launcher already, too. Okay, what do I have in here that I can sacrifice? Ah, rocket launcher parts. Uh my god. Okay. SMG parts. You know what? These I'm going to leave behind because they're pretty low level. I don't I don't really need them. Same with this sniper rifle barrel. Uh we'll make some more room here. Okay. What else do we have left? We have one more just north of us here. So we're going to go up and grab that one. Let's go see what this baby has for us. I'm doing the run instead of using my mini bike. That's okay though. See, it's kind of easier than getting on and off the mini bike to look at the map. What a pain in the ass. You know what, guys? When they bring modding into the game, I promise you, I'll figure out a way to do that. Okay, so let's... Uh, oh, it's it's right in front of us. There it is. There it is. Hiding, be hiding beside the tree. Very nice. What have you got? Uh, some low-level SMG parts. Eh. Uh, those I'll actually read because we already have a few of those kicking around. Wow, my armor smithing needs some level as well, too. Huh. Okay. Well, guys, we're pretty full here, so I'm going to hop back up on Bitty Bike. I'm going to go home. I'm going to stash this stuff, and then we'll come back out and take a look at what else we can get. We got a pretty damn good haul this time around. I'll see you guys right after this break. And we're back. So I've come across this over here, and oh my goodness. 
We guys are going to be going for a swim. Look how many airdrops there are on the water. Holy crap. Uh, so I think we're going to go ahead and start with this one. It might be easier for me to put a waypoint to each one. Uh, just so I can see them a little better. Because they are in the lake and it's going to be a little bit of a bitch to get them. But that is okay. I'm always down for a challenge. Now, it's been a while since I've tried to get an airdrop in the water. I forget if they land in the top or if they land in the bottom. So we're going to go for a swim. Either way, we, if we have to go diving or if it lands on the top. I do think, I do believe that it actually does land in the bottom. If I'm not wrong. Yeah, there we are. Okay, see, there it is. It's down at the bottom of the lake. Thankfully, this lake doesn't seem like it's very incredibly deep. So we shouldn't drown. But I probably should get all of these airdrops out of the lake. Because, I mean, I'm against pollution. And this this just ain't right. You know what I mean? Uh, the zombies can pollute because, well, the zombies don't pay taxes. And the zombies, they, they just don't care. Alright. So let's see what this underwater crate has for us. Hey. There we go. Uh, rocket launcher. Okay, some more parts and stuff. Uh, we do already have one of these. So I'm going to go ahead and read it. And we will go and look for our next airdrop. Holy crap. Whew. Man, it's a good thing I have quite a bit of breath. Uh, so I'm going to actually go ahead, quick waypoint over there, and we are going to head over there and look for those airdrops. Man, another thing I really wish they had to was the actual true swimming animation. It'd be really cool if you went under the water and like your arms were going and stuff, and and like it actually kind of felt like you weren't like Jesus walking through the water, if you know what I mean. Okay, so can we see? Can we see? I don't see any airdrops yet, so we'll keep going. How close are we? So hard to tell. Oh my god, they're all the way over here. Man, I really wish to. I had a boat. I think a boat would be cool. But it seems they're fixing the water problem, so there's not nearly as much water on the maps. So I don't think a boat would be as useful. But, um, oh man, I, I could, if, they, if they add fishing to the game, I would be one happy ass guy. Because I would spend hours on my boat just fishing. I'd do an episode shooting the shit fishing the fish you guys know how I do because well in real life I'm actually a fishing enthusiast that's what I like to do I like to go fishing uh, that's how I broke my ankle because I was mountain biking in, in uh, the hills the mountains going to my favorite fishing spot and I done messed up and broke my ankle there's one over there there's one over there and there should be I think one forward let's take a look Okay, one there, one there, and one forward. Okay, so we should go for that one over there first. Ooh, that, that sucker's deep. I uh, wonder if we're going to make it. That's insane. Okay. Now, I'm soaking wet as well, too, so hopefully I don't freeze, but I doubt it because we're still in a desert biome. But this one, this one's deep. Scuba deer. S scuba deer? Scuba gear. Scuba gear would be really cool as well, too. Um... The one thing I really like is when they put the uh, the treasures. When the treasures land on the bottom, they're so much easier. You don't have to go digging for them. They're just sitting right on top. Okay. Let's go ahead and try to get down here. God, going down is slow, slow. So, slow, slow? So slow. Man, I think I need, before I start recording, to do some watermelon exercises. That's what actually actors do uh, to get their, their lips all limber, limber lips. They do some tongue twisters. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just take all of that because I don't want to drown. Ah, we're looking good here. We're looking good. I'm not suffocating yet. It's painfully slow, but we're getting there. Ah, oh, there we go. Fresh air. Okay, what did we get from that? Ooh, some nice sniper rifle parts. Another receiver, another beaker, and iron helmet. We don't have that one yet. Perfect. Uh, MD will be able to make himself a full set of iron gear. Now, this is actually a lot different of... Um, a way for preparing for someone else to come on your map. I mean, I could have, I think, went to the city and looted some stores and stuff and get that done. But that's no fun. I love opening up airdrop crates and and treasures. I think I think it adds a little more to the game. Um, I am down for, for, like, exploring and looting and stuff, but it gets really boring after a while, I find. It's um, one aspect of the game I really don't always appreciate. Uh, now... The fun pimp said they were heading. Uh, this is just another random thought for you guys. Oh, before I start that one, we might get back to this one. Uh, I just want to let you guys know that for some reason, 
YouTube ain't being so friendly with my replies. I don't get notified of when you guys reply to my comments to you all the time. So please don't think I'm ignoring you if I've asked you a question and then I just never reply back. Uh, it's almost impossible. I literally have to go through all of my videos and go through all the comments just to see if uh, I've gotten a reply. And that, that can be quite time consuming. I don't necessarily always have the time to do that. But I do try my best. Okay, what does the third one got for us? Good God, this is so slow. Like, this this is a little ridiculous, honestly. You you can swim a lot faster than this underwater. Like, this is just too slow. Uh, but yes, so th the fun pimps direction that they're taking lately, yeah, from what I, I see, is that they want to remove a lot of the grind from the game because they don't think it's, um, they don't think it's fun. And, uh, okay, so let's, let's actually head this way. Yeah, I put my quick boy point there. Nice. So, oh my god, I lost my train of thought on that one. Totally lost my train of thought. Uh, but yeah, oh yeah, that's what they said. Oh my goodness, here we go. Try this all over again. Okay, so the fun pimps, they want people to get out and they want people to go walk around the world, go exploring. That was one of the reasons they put traders and stuff in, right? Uh, but in my opinion, and they've, they've done a good job so far, but if they, if they want to keep us out and exploring, they got to make a hell of a way better generated world. Um, it's the same five biomes. It's the same mountains. Once you've seen one of the mountains, you've seen all the mountains. It's the same cities. I do know that they're improving the city layouts and stuff. But they need like, add like 100 more POIs in. I'm tired of seeing the same 20 POIs all the time. That to me does not encourage me to go out to the world to explore. That that to me is boring, right? For the first like 30 hours of a playthrough, it's kind of fun going and looting, finding all your stuff. But once you've seen it all, you've really seen it all. Like I, I want to see mountains. I want to see valleys. I want to, I want caves. You know what I mean? Like if you're gonna if you're gonna take the grind out of the game, give us some more reason to go and explore. Uh, going back and forth to the trader to get to get stuff that the trader um, doesn't stock much of to me it, it, that's not fun that doesn't really encourage me to get out uh, oops I press the escape button um, so yeah it's just oops I press the escape button again so I just I really want them to improve on that stuff right I just I don't know it's it's almost like they're they're kind of just starting to rush to get the game out especially with all the um, all the texture painting and that I'm not a big fan of that. I just I think it ruins a lot of the grind like for me Building a brick is totally a vanity thing, right? And a lot of people are like, oh, well if you paint brick You don't get the uh, benefits from the brick and honestly you don't get benefits from brick brick was never a good defensive block I could care less about its defensive cap capabilities what I do care about is putting those bricks in the forge and having to fire up the forge for three hours to get a stack of bricks. You know what I mean? And then having to fight off all the screamers or come up with a creative way to negate the screamers. That to me is part of the grind challenge. And and honestly, I feel with the painting the textures, they're they're taking that out. They're they're making the block file smaller so it's easier for them. I just I don't know. Uh, when the game first started out, the crafting was insanely complex. But now the crafting every single alpha gets easier and easier and easier. It's almost like they're they're trying to appease the masses by, by making the game really easy to get into. Uh, but then it doesn't keep you that long because it's incredibly easy, right? Now, uh, because before uh, there was like what three, four different types of meat. Now there's just one meat. So if you went hunting, you know what I mean. Like a deer, a stag meat was better than rabbit meat. And I've I've heard them say that the game's too complicated and, and they don't want to make it complicated because people don't like complicated. Um, but honestly, uh, in my full opinion, just to finish off that thought, is I think Joel needs to stop playing Rust and start playing his own game again. Because if they dumb it down anymore, it's gonna, it's gonna, I'm going to have to rely on mods. Um, you guys will see tomorrow, Thursday, I'm putting out my first true survival episode. And the complexity of it, uh, of the crafting and everything else and what's locked behind stuff is just wonderful. It's insane. It actually brought some passion back into the game for me. Not that I don't have passion, but I've just, I haven't really appreciated the challenge of it since Alpha 13. Now, even Alpha 14 was good, uh, but they did start dumbing it down a little bit in Alpha 14 as well. But guys, 
I think that that ends my rant and and all my and all my stumbles and whatever else I have to get off my chest. I appreciate you guys listening for that. Uh, let me know your guys' opinion down in the comments. You know, don't don't be a jackass if you disagree with me. You disagree with me, that's fine. Uh, but I'm just telling you my thoughts on the game and what I think makes a good playthrough. Because next time around, guys, I can make Cooney Hills out of wood frames and not have to do the concrete, right? To get the concrete. That, that's just what I, that's just what I'm saying is I can do wood frames and then paint that all and be like, oh, look, guys, I made a concrete building that to me just takes out the legitimacy of the game. But there we go. I'm going off the rails here again. Anyways, guys, I've run out of time for this episode. Uh, we do have a lot of stuff here for midnight. I'm looking forward to recording with them uh, for the Hunter Max Wave. I just got to test it out first and get that going. And then uh, we'll have that episode nice and ready. Hopefully my PC can handle it. <laughs> it's it's going to be quite insane if not. But anyways, guys, as usual, I want to remind you, back up those game saves, stay classy, and I'll see you in the next episode. Uh, hit it, you bunch of dirty hippies.